Music really has the opportunity to move you emotionally. When you're in there creating it, it actually takes you to another level. It's, it's really exciting emotionally. You leave uplifted whenever you play. Playing in an orchestra like this is amazing. It's a bit like going to an art gallery and you see your favourite painting. And rather than looking on the outside of it, you're actually in it. You can hear the brass behind you. Your eardrums are tingling, but it's wonderful. To be in a great body of musicians all playing with the same goal, it's really exciting, it's a privilege. My favourite place on earth, if you like, is right where we're sitting, All Souls Langham Place. And it really is in a very fulcrum position right here at the top of Regent Street. For me, it is, it's heaven. It's Christ, where Christ is dwelling on earth and where we witness to people through the power of music. Being part of All Souls Orchestra, for me, is very special because actually, a long time ago, I became a Christian through the orchestra. And then again, you're playing this beautiful music and you're surrounded by people who love God. It combines two great loves, which is Jesus and music. When we play, we start with prayer. We often sing, but we're part of a playing orchestra. And that is something I've not experienced in any other orchestra. It makes it absolutely unique. The arrangements that we have, often written by Noel and other members of the orchestra, are like tailored suits. They're written for the orchestra and they use the full richness of this orchestra. And so it's quite a personal experience for us all to play them. And then these great hymns, which have got such history and we know that people all around the world are singing them. There's just a real sense of completeness when you hear these words that have stood the test of time. Those words are hundreds and hundreds of years old and they're talking about a timeless truth. So the joy of the All Souls Orchestra uniquely is that they're Christian. Whether it's through recordings, whether it's through live, whether it's through word of mouth, the ministry, the depth, the wonder, the beauty of the orchestral sound lifts people's hearts to heaven. And that's what the All Souls Orchestra does. Christmas is really special to me because it's about hope. We don't have a distant God. He actually came to be with us in whatever we're going through. It's amazing to think that God has come into our world and his heart is beating alongside us. And that means his heart of joy, but also a heart that bears sorrow, a heart that bears pain, a heart that bears loss. Christmas for me is when all of the promises of the Old Testament became yes. Everything that had been promised just came at that moment in Emmanuel. Christmas, I always find, has memories. It's a time when you think of family and actually having that time to think, pause to reflect. Christmas has always been special, partly through the family, partly through worshipping as a singer, as a chorister over the years. And if you like, God rest you merry gentlemen, tidings of comfort and joy. And I think that sums up Christmas, that it's both songs of comfort in the desolate time, you're a refugee, you might be suffering if you think of the persecution that Herod wrought, but also tidings of comfort and joy of the, the announcement of the good news that Jesus became one of us. So it's a time to be real, but it's a time to worship with great imagination and great joy. My favorite Christmas carol on the album is It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. It talks about the angels touching the earth with harps of gold, of people so busy with their own lives, and yet this song of peace and this song of joy is being sung over them. My favourite carol on the album is From the Squalor, which is a modern carol by Stuart Townend. The first verse speaks of that love of Emmanuel being here with us, but then the rest of the carol goes into God's love in his life and his death. My favourite is the holy time of Christmas, all others dull their face, and here we go, oh, tidings of comfort and joy. My favourite Christmas carol from the album is O Come All You Faithful. It's just full of grandeur. You know that on Christmas morning, everywhere, people will be singing it and playing it. It's a sort of great unifier, I think. The other factor, of course, it's got some great bass lines. As a double bass player, I enjoy all of those elements, and they're good parts for the tuba as well, not forgetting. 
My hope for this album is that not everybody can come to All Souls Langley Place. They can hear the album, they can download it, they can enjoy it. And this album, I think, gives a wonderful example of how rich the music of Christmas can be. But actually, as they hear the music, what they will do is to experience the building and the worship that so many generations of worshippers have loved in this place. But what a better time to do it than at Christmas time. Tidings of comfort and joy.